Paul, what pleased you the most about Saturday's win? Clean sheet, I think, because um, we knew it'd be tough. Rather than uh, they're going all out and playing for the new management team, do you know what I mean? They're enjoying it now. The players, you can see that, and so they're playing with no fear. He's trying everything, so we knew we'd throw everything at us. And after the first sort of ten min, ten fifteen minutes, um, I was really pleased with our defenders. So everyone would have liked us to have been. I said at half time, I'm speaking with the staff at half time, would have liked to have been better, but I'm thinking is, do I need to give Rotherham more credit than they've taken away from us? And I think looking at the game back, I do, like they, they really imposed themselves on us and we had to stand up to it, knowing that we had the players on the pitch who could hurt them and, and we had to take advantage of those opportunities when they came. And things were made of the week before the game about it being a good time to play. Barnsley with everything that was going on off the pitch but you must have been pleased with the character you side showed to get over the line and get the three points yeah well, I can't remember which game I think it was after Lee everyone's on about yeah not doom and gloom but as if things are, things are great here when have they ever been as good as this do you know what I mean and, and that is it when have they ever been as good as this so yeah teams might think yeah good time to play Barnsley but they're playing a team who's seventh in the championship and got some some hungry players with lots of ability so like I say our job is just to make sure that we give us best every game and if it's not good enough it's not good enough but we'd like to think that the team who beats us has to really perform to, to get one over on us. Yeah it's, it's exactly that because you're only a point outside the playoffs as well so it's an attractive prospect for players to come in from mm. elsewhere and, and come to this football club now. Yeah definitely, definitely so we have to market ourselves in a way where we, we're selling what's good about ourselves, one's league position Two, how we try and play and the style of football. Three, the goals we score. Four, the clean sheets we keep. Do you know what I mean? We might not have the money, but we have to market ourselves with, with everything that we do do well and, and try and do better than everybody else. Just touching on Alex Mart again, what qualities are you looking for him to bring? Well, we've signed him because we like him as a player. He's a good player, so we're not going to really change. We're going to... His roles and responsibilities without the ball will be a big one for him to learn. Um, try and make it as black and white as possible. I know I always say it, but we do. But with the ball, he's a good player. He has got a goal threat. He's got good delivery. Um, he's got good quality in the final third. He's brave. He likes to get on the ball, which is what we're about. So he fits into he fits into a, a bounds in midfielder. And what sort of game are you expecting from Wolves tomorrow? Like I said, tough one. They're a good side. I like watching them. They, they play with lots of energy now, attacking and defending. Um, yeah, and they have. They've got some real good players. Good players in one v one situations, and um, they're playing with, or they, they appear to be playing with lots of confidence and not freedom. So it'll be a good game. Cool. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, Paul.